Atlantic, we are uh, at uh, Casa do Brasil, here in Brussels, with uh, Kika Nicolella. Kika, what's uh, the meanings of this uh, event? What represent? Well, I, I'm an artist from Brazil, so I work with a, well, I'm a contemporary artist. And uh, for me, it's very hard to say what it is about, because I really, it, I think for me, contemporary art is more about raising questions than actually replying to them. But uh, here I'm really uh, thinking about the relationship between history and fiction, reality and fiction. So here I have a, his, I take a, a very well-known historical character from Brazil, a woman who lived in the 19th century, and I try to, to approach her with uh, performances by five actresses. And we try to, to reimagine her story in our, our own way and mis mixing that with fiction, with, our, with the hist with personal stories from the actresses and also just our imagination. Just to talk about how history is constructed, in fact, is a construction. And in, if you think about even reality is a construction. So you're, in your art, you play a lot with pictures and the movie in the same time? I, I'm, I'm, my work is it's image based. Uh, it's based on basically video, moving image, but also I work with photography and many times in dialogue with these films. So this series is it's, it's taken from a film. So actually it's not photos. They are uh, technically they are stills from the film, frame from film. So I really, which has a very different. Uh, characteristic because a photo you kind of frame and you take a, a snapshot of a moment and the film is just a series of images and you just go in the film and you choose the exactly. yeah. moment you want yeah. so somehow it's a different relationship to the image um, and since I shot in, in a very high resolution in 4k actually so I have a lot of resolution to actually be able to do that and then amplify the image and print it and still look good somehow. Yeah. yeah. And the movie is uh, which city is uh, realized? Is it recognized exactly? Yeah, because the shot in main is more Sao Paulo, but it, it, it kind of um, follows the story and the traces of the story of this character. So it also goes to Rio and uh, Sorocaba, which is a small town in, Brazil, in Sao Paulo, a province, and Santos. Uh, but mainly São Paulo and the, and the historical center of São Paulo, which can look uh, a bit uh, almost European somehow, or or yeah. this house, for example, is a house from the from the 18th century, so it has all the characteristics from that time and not not a lot from São Paulo nowadays, let's say. Yeah, the monumental place, uh, the the square monumental. Uh, that's very important in this movie and for Brazil because that's the place, it's really the place where Brazil was uh, had its independence. So that's where the first emperor of Brazil said uh, Independência Morte, that's the, the legend, but it never really happened that way. But actually that's where they decided, okay, Brazil will be independent from Portugal. And that's the place, really. So that's re even the little river that now is just a dirty small river that is in the film it's in the national anthem you know when we sing the national anthem of Brazil we talk about Rio Ipiranga and that's the little river which is in the film so it talks a lot about the history of Brazil and of this character which was uh, she was the lover of the first emperor of Brazil but she has a very interesting uh, full of paradoxes life and so we, we approach that through different perspectives, through these stories that we have f about her, but we never know what is true, what is not true, what we, people imagine over the years, or just legends. Yeah. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.